so cool. So unbelievable. Hey guys, how are you doing? Today I have a very special review for you. So I got a small parcel from the Slingshot channel and Jörg Sprave, who is the owner, has recently made a really cool invention, which is a magazine slash quiver slash bolt action device, which makes your bow much faster to shoot with. And today he sent me this really big box and in here we have two products. First of all, we have this here. Okay, this is the Fenris, the magazine, which can hold five arrows. Uh, you will also get this, uh, it's a, you know, advice how you can set up the bow and the Fenris. And then here we have a couple of arrows. Nice. He also sent me a red dot. Thank you, because I didn't have one. And I guess this is the bow. Okay, first I want to start with the bow. Get it out of the box. Oh my god, look at this bow, it's beautiful. Wow. Some hex keys are included. Okay. I still have to lower the poundage. I cannot pull it otherwise. Okay, to lower the poundage you can unscrew this limp bolt here. I think I'm going to screw it out for about Three turns maybe. One, two, yeah, let's stay with two. You also have to do this to the other side as well, of course. One, and two. Okay, let's see if I can draw it now. It's still very... Sorry, Jörg, but I'm too weak for this bow. <laughs> I have to loosen the screws even more. Let's do two more turns, okay? Okay. <sighs> it's still too strong. So normally I could use the strength of the bow now. But with the Fenris, um, you want to have a slightly lighter adjustment because you want to do multiple shots in a very short time and you definitely don't want to wear out your shoulder. So you have to yeah, take a lighter setting that you would normally do. So I'm really glad that this bow is so adjustable because weaker people like me, for example, they cannot, you know, draw such a strong bow. Okay, let's try one more turn. I don't want to screw out the screw too much. Okay, this should be enough now. Okay, that's better, much better. Okay, now I want to adjust the draw length because the instructions are telling me that I should set it at maximum 25 inches. So we have to shorten the draw length significantly. So I'm just getting out this screw and loosen this screw. Okay, now we can move this to maybe here. Let's see how much that is. I do the same thing to the other side now. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> awesome. I can only imagine how it feels with the Fenris on. Okay, this is the box of the Fenris. This is the actual invention by Jörg Sprabe and it's produced by Steambow, which is I believe a Austrian company. Okay, now let's open this up. Okay. Okay, first let's take a look at the arrows. They are made from carbon. And they are very special because they have this very special knock, as you can see. 
and also they look a little bit more like a bolt from a crossbow because they only come with two feathers. Okay, this is the holder. Nice. And this is the actual Fenris magazine. Wow, it's a high quality piece right here. Okay, then you get a couple of arrow tips, bolts and nuts and hex keys. Okay, so what makes this bow special is that it has two burger holes. So usually bows only come with one, but this comes with two. And if you take this here, which is the rail, then you can attach it with two screws, which is nice. But also if you have a bow with only one burger hole, then you can still, you know, get a special holder a special adapter to attach this rail to your bow. So this will, would be the second adapter that you can get. Okay, but we already have two holes and this is why we are using this standard rail here. And it says you can uh, mount it from the outside and then you should push it all the way back. Okay, so before I mount the rail on the bow, I first want to loosen all of these four screws and push back the rail here, um, otherwise this will not be aligned with the cable. So let's just quickly push this back, okay, so it has to look like this. Okay, so now you have the two burger holes and you want to attach this like so. And you want to push it all the way to here, towards the archer. Ah, sorry, I forgot the washer. Okay. Okay, now we are looking like this. And now we have to insert the actual magazine. So I was just thinking, where's the front? Um, the front is here because here you would have a big space for arrowheads of all kinds and the back side is here this is where the knock goes into this is the lever that pushes down the arrows nice okay now i want to get this screw out this is a stopper screw okay so here's the screw which is stopping the magazine from flying around back and forth so this is important okay Let's try it like this. Mm -hmm. This is nice. And now the string goes into the slot, which you can see at the side. Before we forget it, I want to reinstall the stopper screw. So here in the instructions, it says that the magazine should run back and forth without resistance and the string should have a minimal or no contact with the magazine. Okay. Okay guys, so as you can see, the magazine has too much friction. So now I have to loosen two screws here, which are at the side. Okay, let me show you this in detail. So here and here we have a screw and if you tighten it, the whole clamp here will become narrower and if you loosen it it will become more loose and then um, you have to find the right setting so that the magazine is floating almost freely and only touching the clamp a little bit so let's try it this way now okay now as we have completed this step i want to mount the trigger on the magazine and this is how it goes guys so I don't know if you can see this but we are almost ready to shoot the bow the only thing that we haven't done is we haven't adjusted the magazine to the string actually the magazine should not touch the string right now it's touching uh, the magazine on the left side so now we have to untighten these screws again and move the entire thing left of about one millimeter and then the string should be loose in the magazine 
Now I have it exactly in the middle. Let's quickly close the screws here. So instead of practicing tips, you can also use hunting tips, broad heads, for example. Okay, now I want to add the arrows to the quiver, to the magazine. And first we want to push up this lever and push it to the side so that you have enough of space to reload the magazine here. Okay, so it should go like this. Okay, so here there's a special groove and it only works with these knocks. They are specially designed. Doesn't work with the standard knock. You need the special knocks here. So the thing that you do is you want to have the groove, the notch, like this. And you cannot insert the arrow this way. It won't work. So you have to insert it the right way. Like that. And the magazine can take five arrows, which is quite a lot. Okay, now you press down the lever and now the arrows cannot fall out anymore. And this is how the magazine looks when it's loaded. So let's see if we have everything. Oh yeah, we need a red dot side still. You also can get a special laser for the Fenris if you want to. Okay, so all I need to do is I have to install a red dot on this Picantini rail. Okay, I have installed this red dot side. Now it's time to take the first shot. I haven't shot this yet, but it really looks like a bow that you want to have in the apocalypse. So when you're moving the magazine all the way this way, then the cable will lock into the hook. And when you want to shoot, you press here and then the string gets released again. <laughs> the first time that I'm shooting this bow. Okay, I want to show you this safety feature in detail again. So when you're out of the last arrow, the lever will go down and it will catch the cable and then you cannot pull this thing back anymore and you cannot um, dry fire the bow, which is important. So I really like this security detail. Okay, now let's try it one more time. Nice. 
having the right technique that you need for shooting this bow here and if you shoot like five to ten times with this bow you will be a very proficient archer super interesting item so i'm really excited how this all works and the quality is superb the only thing that i don't like about this setup is that it's a little bit heavy for me so i'm not as strong as jörg of course but other than that it's a really great bow and also what i like is that you can keep the bow at the target when you're reloading and with this bow you can just keep the sight on the target shoot 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 and this way you're much faster so i think that probably this here is the technical answer to lars anderson's shooting technique it's made from very high quality made in austria engineered by a german so really nice i like it so Jörg Sprave has designed this Fenris magazine and imagine if they had a bow like this in medieval times then he would have won every battle, right? So if you had like 10 archers with a bow like this they would have shot, you know, as fast as 50 archers so that's quite incredible the only thing is that you need a little bit of time to put in the arrow into the magazine so you have to make a pause after five arrows but these five arrows you can shoot really fast it's definitely also maybe an option for home defense because you have five shots and you can shoot them pretty fast behind each other so this is a very interesting product that i really like so thank you Jörg for borrowing me this bow for this review and I think you have done an outstanding job in designing this bow. It's made from very high quality materials. And this is going to last for sure. Okay, I think I'm getting there now. Okay, as you can see, the bow is really accurate. really one of the fast shooting bows that you can have and especially compound bows are really slow to shoot with so much slower than recurve bows and you always need so long to stick in the arrow into the arrow rest and then you have to find the D loop and click in with your trigger release so compound shooting is always a little bit slow but now with this magazine it's really fast and yeah for the first five arrows you can shoot really really fast much faster even than with a recurve bow so i really like this bow and also of course the fan race magazine it's unbelievable how this bow performs with this add-on so yeah do i like the product of course i do it's great it's awesome the only thing is that it's a little bit heavy for me so i would have to train more get used to the bow but other than that it's it's a high quality product and I don't see a thing which I could make better, right? Alright guys, so I want to thank Jörg for sending me this bow, it was nice to try it out. And also I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you're interested in getting this Fenris magazine, make sure that you check out the link in the description below. Stay tuned till next time.